All right, here we go. Just a quick injury update. Uh, we just had the one to report uh, Marcus Johnson had a quad. So we'll get that treated and monitor that. Uh, a great team win. I'm really proud of the guys. We know these tough division. We know these division games are always going to be tough. Uh, we got a lot of respect for this team and uh, they got great players. And um, so it was a tough contest. Here's what here's what we just talked about in the locker room. What, what I'm most excited about is, you know, in the fourth quarter of that game, when the game is on the line, is that we made plays in all three phases. We make a 53 yard field goal in the fourth quarter. We have a long game winning drive uh, to go up uh, in the fourth quarter. And then we get the defensive stop on the last drive. That, that's what that's what playing December football, um, that's meaningful. That's what it takes uh, to continue to build the DNA and, and who we are and where we believe we're going. So a lot of good things we did, but we're always reminded that, um, shoot, we play good in all three phases and did a lot of really good things. And it's still a close game. That's the way these, that's the way this league is. So we got to continue to improve. Um, and, and there's room for improvement. So we'll look at the film and we'll evaluate, uh, you know, what, what we got to do to get better. We know we play another tough AFC opponent this week on the road. So we'll lock in and uh, learn from this game and get better. All right, Greg Doyle. Hey, Frank, thanks for the update on what you guys talked about. I want to take you back about 15 seconds before you start talking or 30 or whatever. What was that locker room like when you walk in there to win that game like that? Yeah, it was, it was you know, guys fired up, really guys who believe in one another, guys who are excited for one another, guys who, you know, believe we're, we're going somewhere and um, but that nothing is given to us and you got to earn every bit of it um, each week. So, um, you know, we know that this this marathon is not over. So, you know, you felt, Greg, you felt an excitement, a, a, a real big excitement, but you also sensed a focus of, hey, we still got a lot of work to do. We still got to get a lot better. Mike Chappell. Frank, can you remember two games in three weeks where it fumbles at the goal line of, have, have gone this way for you? It's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Obviously, uh, you know, real credit. I think Darius caused the one today, right? Is that right? Right. Um, you know, just a great play by him. Uh, you, you know, he, we know he gets so many strip attempts, but um, I thought the defense did a good job, right? That last drive, even though they moved the ball down the field, we kept the pressure on him. Um, obviously, we got to avoid that penalty to make it even harder. But, you know, playmakers make plays in the clutch when it's needed. And as you said, Chap, I mean, against this team to have these two games end this way, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Frankie, just a real quick follow-up. The play with T.Y., did you guys think with your alignment you were going to get him on a linebacker like that? Yeah, no, I <clears throat> really credit, you know, Nick and the offensive staff. You know, that's a play that we had put in, you know, trying to get, uh, you know, against the coverage that we ended up getting it. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, we got in a long yard situation. And, uh, you know, just I was just there's just a gut feeling, you know, that we just had to make a play and had to, had to take a shot. I mean, there was one thought to just try to get back in field goal range. Um, but I really was just trusting Philip, trusting T.Y. that, hey, let's take the shot if it's there. Let's see if we can get the coverage we want and get T.Y. isolated like we wanted to. And if it's there, let's take it. If not, then, you know, let's look, work underneath, to try to get some yards and get back in field goal range if, if that's what we got to do. Thanks, Frank. Phil Erickson. Frank, how, how hurt was DeForest Buckner and how close was he not, to not playing? We're not used to seeing him play uh, a limited role, you know? Yeah, he was hurt, um, but uh, you know, credit to him. I mean, really, the way he spent the last forty-eight hours doing everything. I mean, literally, I, I don't know how much more you can treat it and, and do everything that you have to do. Get the rest. We kept him off it as much as we could, but it was really going to come down to you know, could could he operate at a winning level? And you know, he just wasn't going to be denied. I mean, you could just tell the last twenty-four hours that he was going to play. But we really took it up to the last minute. Um, you know, we worked him out today at ten o'clock. And he had a good workout, so we just wanted to limit him, uh, you know, really from himself more than anything, you know, just put him in on pass rush situations, put him in on red zone, you know, in, in key situational things. So there's the credit to DeForest, the leader that he is, and the kind of player and, and how tough he is. George Bremer. Coach, you mentioned December football and making plays in all three phases of the fourth quarter. Is you know, I was talking in NCAA basketball about surviving advance. Is that the mentality this time of year? Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, you there's we talked about it in there where you can play good football 
and in all three phases, but it just still comes down to a handful of plays. And I, I just thought we did so many good things in all three phases during the day. But, you know, they got Deshaun Watson. I mean, he's making unbelievable plays, keeping them in the game. And we make one or two mistakes, and all of a sudden, you know, obviously, it all, you know, we started out on fire in all three phases, and and they fought back into it. That's a credit, you know, credit to them. But as you said, in the, in the fourth quarter, you just got to believe, and then you got to come up big in the clutch. All right, we'll go two more. Kevin Bowen. Frank, on the challenge, sometimes you see hesitancy in challenging spots. What made you challenge that? And then on the Pascal touchdown, any sense of trying to play the clock game there, or is it just score whenever? Yeah, um, the challenge was just, you know, really it was a gut, it was a gut feeling. You know, I mean, it's a it's a no-brainer if it's third down, but you know, really where they were still going to have a chance, they were going to have to third and short. Um, you could have easily argued about not challenging it, but. I don't know, it was a gut feeling. And what helped me was, uh, believe it or not, this doesn't happen very often. But there, there were about four or five players, you know, that really brought it to my attention, right? I mean, up on the screen, it showed it. And then it really just had a split, se a split second to make that, to, are we really gonna, am I really gonna challenge this right here um, where they still have, it's gonna be third and short. And um, I don't know, it was a gut feeling. And then we make a great play to draw them off, you know, make them have a legal procedure. And, that, that turned out to be big. So it was a great job by the defense getting the stop. And then the Pascal touchdown, was yeah. there any thought one more play? Yeah, well, yes, we, we talked about it, um, Kevin. But what happened was when the first run, like if the first run had been positive and we ended up on the one or two yard line, I, I might have ran it again. But um, when the first run was, was negative or no gain, or I think it was negative, it was like, hey, we got to score. You know, we got to score, and I'm going to put the ball in Phillips' hands, and um, from the five-yard line with two shots to score. So that, that was that was the thinking. All right, last one, Jim Maiello. Yeah, Frank, we we talked about Zach earlier this uh, this week, but it seemed like it was maybe his turn to kind of star, and, and, and that the Texans were giving a lot of attention to T.Y. Hilton today. Yeah, that's true, and uh, you're right. It, it's kind of ironic, right, um, Jim? How that happened? I mean. We did, you're right, we did talk about that, and then he stepped up in a big time way. It's funny, it was just his week. He was the captain of the week, it was his birthday. You know, um, he spoke to the team last night, uh, and then comes out and he's MVP kind of play for the team for the day. So, we love Zach, he epitomizes what we're all about the toughness, the dependability, great teammate, and uh, just did an outstanding job today and really all year, and especially had a, had a great week this week. Can you share it all with what he said to the team? Sorry. Hey, he just, no, I mean, I'll let him share that with you. But, you know, Zach is really respected because of his toughness. And so really what he was talking about was a toughness, a, a kind of mentality. He was really talking about a kind of mentality that we needed to have today. And uh, I think it hit the team just right.